Hello everyone, today we'll go over how to copy data to S3 bucket in Amazon. First, we're going to go in and create the bucket. So we'll go into the Amazon console, type in S3 bucket. And then we give the bucket a name, S bucket data. And then we select the region. In this case, we're just going to copy it to Northern Virginia. We now allow all public access. This is necessarily needed, but we're just going to turn it on for simplicity. That bucket exists. I'm going to give it one, two, three. Now the bucket should be created. Now once the bucket is created, we're going to go in and create permission, assign permission. So we'll create a user. So in Amazon console, we'll go to IAM. Now you could use a root user if you wanted to, or you can just create a user to get him access. So I'll go and create user, add user. That user will just give it a name, test user copy data. You can give it pro programmatic access. Next. You're going to just assign, attach a policy. There are different ways you can attach policies with good explicit permissions. In this case, we're just going to attach a policy with like an S3. And we're going to give it S3 full access. Just, this is just for the example. And I'm going to click Create. Now, you're going to use the access key ID and the secret key to get access to S3 bucket through our Change Search Copy 360 applications. We're going to go ahead and copy the access ID. So I'm going to go to the software, right click, create a job. And we're going to say, either this as the copy. And this is going to be in the destination, so we're going to destination type. We're going to go ahead and select S3 Amazon S3 storage. Browse. Oh, we're going to go in and create user ID. So we're going to go ahead and click next. We're going to add it. Type in this is uh, this is just the label S3 bucket access. That's going to give it a better name. So we're going to go ahead and copy this, uh, the key. And then now we're going to go ahead and copy the secret access key. You can click test to verify that it's working properly. Save the credentials. Now you can click browse. And now we have the bucket right here. Click OK. Now let's go ahead and select the source. This is just some dummy data. Um, just going to select cloud source, copy as root folder, copy files instantly. Click Save. Now we can kick off the job. So right click on it and say Start. You can click on where it says Queued to see the progress. And the job is now running. Now it's copying data. It's enumerating the data. We've got 12,000 there. And it's just copying the data and it's completed. And that's how you can copy data to Amazon S3 bucket using GSH Copy 360.